All right, all set to go. It is the 30th. I have eaten, I have woken up, got good sleep, and uh, who knows, this might actually be the, uh, the last few episodes of this playthrough. Which, honestly, if so, I think this is the... This is the... What am I trying to say? This is the um, not longest, whatever the opposite word of longest is, uh, Persona game, shortest. I can't speak, I just woke up. But um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about how this game is going to end. Because um, Nyx is unstoppable. We have not seen Yoji in a long time. And uh, the fate is pretty uncertain. I'm just kind of wondering what Strega is doing, honestly. That's like my big, uh, my big concern. I got nothing to do now. I guess I could hang out with Mamoru before we end off. But yeah, I got nothing else to do. Sure. Yes, I will then. Where are you? You're here. But yeah, how the game ends, I have no idea. Just gonna relax before tomorrow. We're at the beef bowl shop. Okay, he's not here yet. Sorry, I kept you waiting. You're late. Are you okay? Yeah, just. Need more training. Let's go in, yeah. I'm thirsty. You enjoyed a beef bowl with Mamoru. Meals taste better with two people. I used to come here a lot with my teammates, but... We should come here again. You're the only one who says that anymore. I wouldn't come now, even if I invited them. I don't really get along with people who don't take the club seriously. It jacks up practice, you know? A lack of concentration. He seems to be pondering something intently. I used to love it there, you know? I spent all my time practicing kendo. You guys all loved kendo, and we always had so much fun. That doesn't matter. They can't understand what I'm going through. I'll just have to surpass them, get even better than I am now. You can sense he's passionate. He is, is, you can sense he's passionate about his club. The relation is stronger. Well. You should be happy, Mamoru. This will be the last time I can hang out with you. In this life. Alright, that was a weird convo. I think I'll power walk the whole way home. Don't let yourself get lazy now. Sounds good. And so, the end of the world. The dormitory lounge. Everyone is gathered around I guess who has finally returned. I'm back, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. I will now proceed to put on the Santa outfit. Man, I'm glad to see you. I was getting nervous. <sighs> Me too. I was fearing the worst. I'm a machine, so I can always be rebuilt. Even if I was completely destroyed, the programming data necessary to recreate me would still exist. Hey, don't talk about yourself like that. They said another week would be required for a complete recovery. But I had the process expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me at the lab and told me everything. That must have been difficult for you all to hear. Have you been well? I mean, considering the circumstances. Uh, actually I've been doing pretty good. We maxed out and pretty much hanged out with everyone we wanted. Except for the girls, naturally, that we were only able to start recently. But yeah, I was worried about you. I'm sorry. It's because I wasn't strong enough. It's okay. Now that uh, you got the Santa outfit, nothing, nothing will be in your way. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> you had no choice. But, if I hadn't done that to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. Yeah, but also if you hadn't done that, the world would be done. Ryoji has presented you with a difficult choice. Have you made your decision? No, not yet. I have a favor to ask of you. Tomorrow, when Ryoji comes, please, please kill him. I can't bear to see everyone hurting like this. 
Please choose to have your memories erased. Even if... Even if it means forgetting everything. And everyone. I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, this isn't like you. What's wrong, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My mission is to protect humanity from shadows. But now I know that I can't defeat them. So then, why am I here? I'm useless. I cannot even shed a tear for you all. Oh, I guess. Why fight when you know that you can't win? What is the purpose of that? Why are you wasting your lives? We're not wasting our lives. We're just planning for the future, right, Ken? Right. I... I don't understand. It must be because I don't possess a life. <laughs> this has nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine. A machine that was created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't fulfill that mission with the powers I was given. So then, what is my purpose now? Could someone please tell me? We don't know the answer, I guess. The only one who can tell you what your purpose is, is you. That's why we're having such a hard time making our decision. There's just no easy answer. But as long as we're alive, we have to do something. When we see others hurting, we want to help them. So that's our purpose. <laughs> I'm not too good at explaining it, but that's what we all think. Can finding one's purpose really be so simple? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you will lose sight of your goal, and you will have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then you must set your heart on a new goal. I'm not really one to talk, but I feel that I've come to understand something important this year. To truly live, you will need to make changes sometimes. Do you think I can do that? Do you think I can change? Yes. I mean, you've changed so much already. Haven't you noticed? In fact, you're changing even as we speak. I know what my purpose is. I'm a machine. A machine who is here to live. And the one who has given me this new purpose is... me. This is the promise I've made to myself. I don't know how I'll do it, but I guess that is part of living, too. Yes, it is. Okay, if Aegis is gonna awaken here, then what about Kodomaru? He's the only one who hasn't awoken yet. Don't tell me he doesn't get an awakening. He has to. Do not neglect the dog. Oh, Athena? Yeah, I figured. I was like, that looks too familiar. Will you allow me to join with you all? Of course! You've always been one of us! Thank you. I will be with you all, no matter what happens. That's the spirit! Amazing. Alright, Konomaru, you are up next. He's whimpering, yeah, because he's the only one who doesn't have his next persona. What a mysterious thing. She changed from a robot to a human being. She used to be so formal, but now she's like a big sister. Wait, really? She's actually not a robot? Now I know why I'm here. My destination lies in the des in the decision we make. Let's choose wisely. Wow, I guess has changed so much. She's so human now. Do you think I'll still be able to talk to her like I did before? Hey, did something happen to Aichan when she was getting repaired? She looks so different, like she's human. You may be right. The end of the month is coming up. Okay. Oh, I can go to Tartarus today? They said Igus has been repaired, but I don't agree with that. She seems totally different now. The people at the laboratory told me she has feelings now. They said she's more human. Very interesting. Okay. Well, yeah, 
I'm still waiting for Otomaru to awaken. I don't know when that's going to happen though. But I guess we'll see it soon. I mean, it has to happen. There's no way everyone awakens except for the dog. That just doesn't make any sense, but yeah. Alright, well there's no reason to save. Let's just... Let's just jump straight into... Actually, you know what? I might as well go to sleep because I want to feel great for later. Yeah, let's go to sleep. Uh, yeah. Because if I go to sleep, I'll feel good. And I don't have any money, so there's no point in even spending any money left. We'll just sleep. There we go. Now I probably feel great. Today is New Year's Eve. Alright. Well, I might as well save my game too before tonight. Because, uh... Since today is Judgment Day. The very last day on Earth. Today's the day. Feels like I'm stepping into the ring. Yeah. Now I know why I'm here. Okay. Same old. I am sure of my answer. The OG's not here yet. Dude, where the hell is he? Day is finally here. I know my answer. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Uka? I know what my answer is. I will keep moving forward. So like, is this... I'm guessing this is like the day I can really make my choice, right? I can, I can get the bad ending most likely by, um, by killing Ryoji, or I can get the good ending by deciding to say, nope, I'm gonna kill Nyx instead. But yeah, okay, let's do that then. I'll probably go for the bad ending first, assuming it is the bad ending, and then uh, yeah, do the good good ending right after, because that's how JRPGs work. What should I do for today? Good question. I am feeling great already, so um, I don't need to spend time here. You know what? I haven't done one thing, and that is watch a movie. That is like the one thing I have not done. You know what? Let's watch a movie before we die. It's presenting an original program, high school students. Wait, do I even have enough money? I don't think I do. Oh my god, I don't even have enough money. Money to watch a movie, what the fuck? Well, you know, if we're gonna die, might as well get rid of all my money, right? And nothing here. Yeah, I don't need to go to any of these restaurants. I've already been in there with my friends. And I've never been to the movie, so you know what? I'm gonna sell something and watch a movie. Hell yeah. Alright. Anything, any last words? You guys look different. Nope. Oh. That's it. I'll just sell a... Uh, I'll sell a life ring. There. There, and I can watch my movie. Let's go watch that movie. Not like I need the stats, but... That's the one thing I haven't done yet. Are you brave enough to endure the tales of terror? Sure. What's up? You almost screamed, but you held it in. Wow. Nothing like watching a horror movie before I actually die. As promised, the OG has returned. You will now have to make your decision now. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Everyone is silent. Okay. I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. I won't feel any pain by dying. So there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. He went upstairs. Have you made your decision? I understand. You don't need to say anything. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. <coughs> I have made my decision as well. 
Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then, okay? Is this like the turning point where I can betray all of my friends here and be like, I'm gonna kill Ryoji. He's standing in a corner. Hey. Where is he? He's like standing by my TV. It's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Although back then, I didn't appear in this form and wasn't known by this name. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? This is a very important decision. You must choose wisely. Alright. Well, since the obvious good ending or good answer is to let him live, because if I do, that means I will face Nyx, which is obviously what the rest of my party members want, right? to basically live life and not forget their memories but if I kill him I, everyone loses their memories and we delay the fall by a little bit so we're gonna go with the bad ending first see where that ends up and then we'll choose this one okay let's go so you understand I think that looking to the future is a great way to live but that doesn't mean that other ways of living are wrong no one knows which road leads to happiness. I'm glad I met you. This must be what it means to feel happy. Thanks for everything. Persona Manifest In that moment, everything stopped. All your thoughts began to fade like chalk on a sidewalk. When you awoke, Peaceful days had returned again. Peaceful town. A peaceful school life. And so, the seasons changed. Yep, that's the bad ending. But skips all the way to March. Wow. Alright. GeckoCon High School. School Gates. Yo! Right, because we all forgot our memories now. Damn, it's cold. But of course, you never miss a day of school. Man, can you believe this year's already over? We're practically seniors now. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, aren't we? Right? We're grade 12 now. Just one more year. You think anything interesting will happen? You never know. Well, seeing the current seniors makes me wonder. Seems like all they frickin' do is study. <laughs> Talk about boring. Is that gonna be us next year? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <laughs> Strange girl. Oh my god, I guess no. Hey, uh, is that girl looking at us? Dude, she's pretty cute. How come I never noticed her before? What? Aren't we still staying in the dorm together though? Like, despite the memory... Memories being wiped? We should still know each other. What are you talking about? She lives in the same dorm as us. Seriously? Uh, what's her name then? I don't know. So then why are you giving me a hard time? Anyway, it's always crazy in the dorms this time of year, with so many people coming and going. Oh yeah, did you hear? Akihiko Senpai's moving out. You know, the captain of the boxing team. Yeah, well he's graduated, right? He's grade 12 with Mitsuru, um... Well, I was going to say Shinji, but yeah. I know who he is, but I haven't really talked to him. Of course, all the graduates are leaving, even Kirijo Senpai. Miss Student Council President. She's in our dorm too, huh? Man, what's up with that girl? Hey there, are you looking at us? Is something wrong? Um, it's nothing. 
She looks kind of depressed, doesn't she? Wait, do you think she might be interested in one of us? <laughs> I doubt it. Ouch, that hurts. I like how even in that reality, Junpei and Yukari, like, we're all still friends. That's pretty cool. Gekukon High School. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly passed away due to illness. To tell you the truth, after losing my father, I also lost much of my self-confidence. You see, I had overestimated my ability to handle everything alone. Few people can be that strong. There are times when we cannot stand without the support of others. After my father's death, I received kind words from many people. You all taught me the value of allowing yourself to be cared for and protected. I would like to continue going forward with the support of those around me. For us graduates, it was truly an honor to share the last three years with all of you. Thank you so much for those wonderful years. That one student who's like a simp for Mitsuru is like, I loved you, senpai. She seems kind of bum, doesn't she? I guess even presidents cry too. She's only human. Hey, where's that girl? What are you talking about? You know, the, the girl we saw the other day. I assume she'd be here. Oh, her. Well, there's a lot of people who aren't here. Actually, I'm surprised you didn't skip. Heh, <laughs> I thought about it. Anyway, next year will be our turn. What have you got planned, Yucatan? College? Hmm, I haven't really decided yet. What about you? I've got a plan. NG+. Plus. Oh, really? Why? Oh. You know how the president was crying? Well, I can sort of relate, since my dad passed away too. Oh, right, but she doesn't know the reason anymore, right? But that stuff she said about seizing opportunities? Give me a break. We're only in high school. I mean, yeah, it's important, but can it wait a few years? But anyway, there's really no hurry to decide what we want to do with our lives, right? I mean, high school's hard enough as it is. Yeah, I can agree with that. Here's what I think. Sometimes you're better off not knowing. As they say, ignorance is bliss. Oh boy. That has such a morbid, morbid, um, deeper meaning now. Besides, you can't always be thinking about the future. And that's a direct paradox to what everyone was going on about. In the end, it doesn't matter as long as you're happy. And that's what Ryoji said too. You've got to live in the moment. Carpe diem, right? Yeah, I guess so. Woo, that was some speech. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not that strong of a person. That's why I get worked up so easily. It's hard to explain. It's just the way I am. Hey, I know where you're coming from. Thinking about stuff like that just gives me a headache. So I try to avoid it as much as possible. <laughs> now that's the Junpei we all know and love. Everyone's so uptight these days. They just need to chill out. You know, take it easy for a change. What are you gonna do if that plan backfires? Well, that'll be that. But for now, let the good times roll. Karaoke, anyone? Let's celebrate our future. A graduation party, huh? I'll go if he goes. He looks at you and smiles. Oh, I understand. Everyone is so uptight these days. Why? Because the end of the world is still going to come. It's just that Ryoji, by killing Ryoji, all of us, like, you know, all of us in Cease, we will, we will basically be in a state of happiness before the end. We don't feel that state of uneasiness. Well, in that case, I won't take no for an answer. I'll buy you a drink, all right? Wow, that's pretty cool. In a sense, it's like ignorance is bliss, but from like a memento mori standard, where it's like 
we no longer know that the end of the world is happening. The rest of the world probably does, actually, because, you know, the lost and all that. But we've had our memories completely wiped. So we've, we're viewing the world as like a fresh slate. Like it's, you know, like it's uh, completely new to us. So we're not witnessing the lost or the apathy syndrome from like the beginning, from last year. We're viewing it from right now in the moment. It's like our life reset on, um, on New Year's. Damn. And that's why we're so carefree. Wow, that's cool. Seems like you have no choice. What will you do? Go with them? Smile and nod. Oh. Uh. If I don't go with them, what happens? Wait, is this the same thing? Oh, okay. I have to go with them regardless. Alright. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? It just ends the game there? Okay. Um, I don't know if that was the wrong decision, though. Oh, I can't skip this. Damn it. The game's over? Shit. Alright, we beat the game. Best ending. Hell yeah. Um, I'm not gonna get my thoughts on the game just yet, by the way. I'm, uh, we'll just sit through these credits real quick. Chief Director. Wow. That sounds very important. Couldn't be me. Oh, there's Yukari's persona. This is a pretty upbeat ending song, I have to say. Especially for a bad ending. I was expecting some depressing shit. Game development cooperation. Wow. Okay. But let's uh let's review it real quick. So in the bad ending, we all graduate. I'm assuming Mitsuru and Akihiko move on to college, but then, like, the world just ends, I'm assuming? Because that's what should be happening, right? It doesn't show it or anything, but I'm assuming that that's just what happens and that's it, we're just dead. So, yeah. Pretty uneventful, I would say, but it is what it is, I guess. That's the bad ending. I don't have any interesting thoughts on that. But yeah, we'll see what the good ending is, and maybe I'll give you more context as to what I did choose if that was that. Wait, Chidori and Elizabeth have the same voice actor? Damn. Nice. Oh, man. But yeah, that's a pretty quick game. How many hours am I in? Let me check Steam real quick. I'll check it on my phone, because if I alt tap, I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop the screen from going on, and I don't want that. Yeah, this is definitely the shortest Persona game I've played. Uh, where are you? Persona 3. Persona 3. Persona. I have too many games on my Steam. Games I want to play, too. Uh, let's see. 50 hours! So yeah, technically if I did go through with this, I would be at 50 hours. So, not bad. We're gonna keep going, naturally. I'm going to choose the other option this time, the one that doesn't lead to this, and see how far that gets me. But, uh, yeah. Alright. And then we'll go through the female route, and see what difference there is. I am interested, actually, to play the female route, because I wonder how much that's going to change up stuff, especially with the, um, the responses, like how the MCs talk. I hope it's not the same response, because, like, that would be, eh. I mean, that'd be kind of annoying, but I'm pretty sure it would. There he is, Shoji Meguro, the, uh, the composer for all the music. Oh my god. He's great. I think he did it for 3, 4, and 5. So this guy is, this guy's in every game. That's why Persona music is so damn good, but yeah. Oh man. But yeah, I would say my favorite social link outside of my party members, especially if I did discover all of them, has to be Maiko, Akinari, and uh, Hanaka. Those three. Those three were great. Um, I would say the school, my classmates, weren't that interesting. Um, 
just in my opinion. I didn't really find them all too compelling, but uh, yeah. And I'm really sad that fucking Kotomaru. God, poor Kotomaru is the only, uh, like they shafted him. They didn't even give him a Persona Awakening. Like why? Why do you gotta do the dog that way? It's like so sad. Maybe there's like a special criteria to awaken him, but I would research it right now because I'm genuinely curious, but uh, you know, we're not done with the game just yet, so I'm not going to spoil myself and all that. But yeah. Oh, and then there's, there's Ken and his like science experiment persona. God. Shout out to Ken, by the way, for being the most, uh, he's, he's the Naoto of this game, the most busted persona user. And also the youngest. So yeah. Whoa, the business marketing division. That's me. A business student. Why am I not there? Damn it. God. Yeah, this game is... This game makes me wish that I could play the original Persona 3 though, you know? Because, uh... I feel like... Not that, again, not that the story is rushed, but I feel like I'm missing a lot of detail and like, uh... I feel like the plot progressed way too quick than if I encountered it in like the original Persona 3 because of the way it's told in this like visual novel style. And it is unfortunate, but hey, that's why Persona 3 Reload exists so I can now play that um, and gain better context or, you know, it's a different experience maybe. Maybe it's like a completely different game with like a new story. I don't think so, but yeah. I'm glad that that's out at least, and I was glad that I was able to expose myself to this game. Very happy with my experience. So thank you, Atlas, Sega. We're not done yet, though. Because, god damn, if I, I'm not... I'm not going to end this until I beat the fuck out of Nyx. I need Nyx. Save clear data. Oh. Uh, sure, why not. If you load the data, you can save here. You can start the game over. You can overwrite. Oh, I can carry over certain attributes. Okay, makes sense. Like my stats. Um, got it. I'll just, I'll just save up here. There. There. Oh, look! It has the fancy flowers. Wow. Okay. So now, I will load. What? I can't skip this. There we go. So now we're going to load this one. All right. And now this time we'll make the uh, we'll make the right decision this time. Not be a fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn. All right. Yeah, we'll just sleep. All right. Let's get through this dialogue quickly. No need to. Uh, no need to hear it again. We've already went through it. Alright, so this time, I am going to let him live. I guess my words didn't change your mind. Well, they did. Just in a parallel universe. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this. But I have no choice. Oh, Thanatos. See? I'm not human. Wait. Oh, shit. So, Ryoji is Thanatos. Again, this isn't spoilers. Well, I guess it is because uh, I found, you know, he's in Persona 5. Like, he's one of the Personas. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. God, he looks so cool. Do not hesitate to kill me. But it all makes sense now, too. Why did Thanatos show up on the first full moon when we arrived at the dorm? Because I had a piece of him inside me. Oh, that's so cool. Now I understand. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Oh wow, I can choose again, huh? 
I'll let you live. I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. On returning to the lounge, everyone ran up to you with a look of relief. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's an unfortunate decision, but it is yours to make. That's right. But you can't defeat Nyx. It's impossible. But we must still try. Personally, I don't care if it is impossible. I understand. It's almost midnight, so I'll keep this brief. I'll tell you where to find Nyx. You'll find her at the top of Tartarus. Oh, well, shit. So I guess... I guess it's like this. It's like Mementos. If I didn't do it, I have to literally do every single floor. <laughs> Holy shit, I have to do every single floor on the last day. Like, imagine that. On the promised day, you must journey to the top of the tower. When's the promised day? Exactly one month from tomorrow. Oh. Oh, wow, I have another month of free time? January 31st, 2010. Wow, okay. Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and the world will end. One month. Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the darkness of the night sky. It's a beacon to guide Nyx. With the Apprisers coming, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared and descends there. And thus, the Demise will come. So that's why it's called the Tower of Demise. But what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right. But remember, from today you will fight against eternal despair. Like I've said so many times before, Nyx cannot be defeated. When you face her, you will finally understand this truth. And then you will realize what it is you are trying to stand against. We understand. There's no need to keep telling us. January 31st. We won't forget that date. Well, I'll be going on ahead of you then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun. I guess I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess. Thank you. This will probably be the last time I'll see you all like this. But I'll always be watching over you. Well, goodbye. Bam. Best wishes in the coming year. Yeah, more like uh, coming month. We got, we, I've only extended my life by one month now. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya. So our New Year's resolution is to defeat Defeat, uh, the god of death. <laughs> that Ryoji. We have one month until January 31st. Together, we'll reach the top. You made an important decision with everyone. Feel a strong bond. Oh, hell yeah. We're Max. I mean, I'm already at the top, so I guess I can face him whenever then? Is that what they're trying to, like, get at? Susano, okay. That's the ultimate form. Cool. The Raging God Susano. You made an important decision with your comrades. Your relation with them has grown stronger. What? What is this? The world? Judgment, okay. Wait, we're starting a new link now? The Nyx Annihilation Team. What are we, the Nat? Okay. No fucking around. A new year is about to begin. In one month, on January 31st, you will be able to face Nyx. You must reach the top of Tartarus by that day. This is the decision you have all made. 2009 is quietly drawing to a close. It was a year filled with many memories. 
yeah, memories that we didn't get rid of this time. The new year has come while you're in the dormitory lounge. Akihiko, Ken, and Kotomaru are all already awake. Good morning. Oh, um, happy new year, senpai. Thanks. You too. Happy new year's to you too. Happy new year. Happy new year to you too, Koro. Oh man, I completely overslept. Why'd I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? Hey, you and me both, actually. Except I went to the cin cinemas. Did you guys see it? It had these giant Amazon women running around in the jungle. Why would I watch that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? No, I don't believe in superstitions. Me either. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. They're all wearing kimonos. Kimonos, huh? Uh, I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it right there, Junpei. Uh, what? You're going to the shrine, aren't you? N no, I'm not. I'm uh, I'm just going for a walk. Uh, oh yeah? Guess I'll go. Well, with I'm going you. with you then. I'm bored. Uh, he's, he's like the. He's like Akihiko's like everyone's guardian. Oh, I'll go too. All right then, let's go. The boys. Anyone know where it is? Yeah, the girls told me the directions. Sweet. Okay, I guess we're heading there. Naganaki Shrine. The girls are dressed up. Happy New Year! Let's all do our very best this year. Hey, you guys are late. We were just about to leave. Y Yucatan. Wow, Junpei, you got over Chidori fast. <laughs> what? Happy New Year. Hmm? What's the matter, Yori? Mitsuru Senpai. You look hot. I, um, <laughs> I mean. Stop staring at me. Damn it, I must stay loyal to, to Chidori. Happy New Year's, everyone! I've never worn a kimono before. Um, does my sash look okay? Fuga! You look... Wow! Jeez. This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Watch, he's gonna compliment Aegis, and Aegis is gonna be like... Eliminate. Uh, I chan Considering what you usually wear, that looks even more amazing on you. Is that so? What is this odd sensation I feel? The girls seem to be embarrassed about their clothing. Ah, I'm so glad I came. New Year's kicks ass! Yeah! Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Because he's about to make a donation at the shrine. Man, we got to see some great stuff today. He's gonna be like Elizabeth. Takes out his bulging coin purse. Right, Akihiko Senpai? Uh, I, uh, I guess so. Hey, aren't you guys cold? Mm, a little, but I love this time of year. Um, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said that you guys aren't wearing anything underneath your kimonos. He said what? Huh? Wow. You've really taken Ken Kun under your wing, huh? No, uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Ouch! He's dead. Oh, cool. I get an event here. Well, wearing this makes me feel renewed. Although the sash makes it hard to breathe. Yeah, it sounds pretty unpractical. Let's get going, MC. Do you want to leave? No, no, no. All right, let me know if you want to leave. Hey, come over here, young man. My takoyaki is both delicious and cheap. Only 400. What, you think you get a discount because it's New Year's? Just buy some, please. Oh my god, it's still... Why is it still weird? God damn it. Don't you hate getting the worst luck fortune? I feel like he's the reason my luck is so bad. Maybe I should break up with him. What? I pulled... Oh, same thing. Wait. That's hell of a way to start a new year. Okay. Arf! I'm not that used to seeing the girls like that. I'm kind of embarrassed to look at them. Oh, Akihiko. Dude, I didn't say that. Don't make things up. What? But you... Okay. Oh, everyone's like in their own world. 
I drew a paper fortune and it read, Great luck. I'm anticipating excellent results. Nice. Good for you. How could Stupe say such a thing to a kid? But you know, it's nice to do this sort of thing once in a while. Let's think positive thoughts and hope for the best results. Sounds good. Guess we're done here, though. What did you wish for, Fuka? I... I wished for a great year. It's a bit generic, but that's what I really want. That's what I want as well. How <laughs> funny. We all wished for the same thing. But it wasn't a plea for help. I know that we'll be victorious. Yeah, I'm sure we can do it. We should get going. All right. That's a pretty positive um, way to start the year. Your cell phone is ringing. Oh, wait, there's another layer still? Oh, shit. I believe a path that was blocked is now okay, never mind. And one more thing, I regret to inform you that my sister has expressed a desire to test you. What? If you are interested, please enter the door that has appeared at the entrance of Tartarus. What? You can reach my sister from there. Oh, is this like the secret boss fight or something? Yeah. Oh shit! No more funky music. It's the serious music now. After all that's happened, it's good to be starting a new year. I couldn't ask before, but is it true that girls don't wear underthings when they wear kimonos? That's a mystery. A mystery? Come on! Does it really matter if the girls do or don't wear underwear? <laughs> I have no idea. Hey, let me ask you something. When you think of a kimono, you think of a chick with a great figure going commando, right? That's right. Ah, I knew you'd agree. What? No comment. Okay. No, it's a lie. Oh, so it was a lie. Good is beginning this new year by acting very childishly. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, the new year always brings new beginnings. So let's refresh our minds and do our best to defeat Nyx. I'm happy that we were able to celebrate the new year, but this month is going to be very important. Make sure you spend your time wisely. Crying? Junpei is so... On the first day of the new year, after making our big decision, he... He's such a pervert. <laughs> I never understood the significance of a new year. It never really meant that much to me. But with all that has happened, now I realize that it's a time to leave behind the past and look forward to the future. Everything is possible in the new year. You're damn right, I guess. Just like you becoming a human. Happy New Year, and now, the first news of 2010. The year's first apathy syndrome patient was admitted at 1.13 a.m. Wow, so it has not stopped at all. How's the town? Wait, even the town has new music? Damn. Are people going on here though? No, you're still here. Um, any new dialogue? Nope, they're still talking about Christmas. Why? Why are you guys still talking about Christmas? No new dialogue. Alright, got it. You have pulled the trigger of fate. I see it now. The target was the shadow of impending doom. Your goal is now clear. Keep your flame of life ablaze until the end. Farewell then. May your future be bright. I will try. Okay. Well, I got a month left. Oh, I can't say Happy New Year to him? Nope, I can't. I have barely any money to. Goddamn. Jack Frost doll. It's still out there. Okay. Well, I got nothing to do anymore at night, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just... Do we head to Tartarus? You know what? I guess I will. There really is nothing else to do. Let's just head in. Everyone is here, by the way. So might as well. I got a month to kill, too, so I guess, uh... Guess I'll be all right. All right, Mitsuru. <laughs> I'll try to meet your expectations. Junpei. All right, let's do this. 
and Yukari. All right, let's go. The original trio. Okay, what is this? Yeah, there's a silver door. Is this the door that Elizabeth was talking about? You mentioned a sister. You decided to open the door. Oh, it's Margaret. Wow, there are many doors. Someone is standing there. It was good of you to come. I am Margaret. Wow, you're in this game too? Shit. Um, I guess for those who don't know, it's not really spoilers for me, but maybe for you. She is the Velvet Room Attendant for Persona 4. I am the one who rules over power. Will that description help you understand? I've heard a lot about you. I thought it was time I saw you with my own eyes. This is the Vision Quest Hall. It's a world inside of you that I have prepared. Okay. I have prepared various contests for you here, each one in accordance with your memories. Do you remember the giant shadows you fought so far? Here, you will be able to fight them again, just as you did the first time. Okay. I just told you, they were made from your memories. I think you'll understand faster if you open the first door rather than stand here asking questions. Think of it as my challenge to you. You have the freedom to choose whether or not to answer the questions posed here. Some are quite difficult. I won't think less of you for retreating. Now open the doors of your own will. And after you find an answer to each question, but that would be telling. In this hall are many tests prepared by Margaret. All questions will be answered by defeating the enemy. Once you answer a question, you may claim a reward. What awaits by defeating all of them? Prepare yourself. That's a lot, damn. For all 12 Arcana though, right? Yeah, Priestess, Emperor, yeah. Uh, okay. First, show me that you're worthy of being trained. See the Priestess door? Go on. Okay. You can hear something from inside the door with the Priestess mask drawn on it. Okay. Uh, sure, why not? I'll do one of them. Now let's do it. You have not fulfilled the conditions, so the door will not open. What? All of the giant shadow. Oh, me, Junpei, and Yukari. I see, I see. Um, so I need to have... <laughs> subtract. Uh, where is it? Yeah. So I, can, I can only have the party members that were there during that time. I see. That's pretty cool. So I can refight my, uh... Oh god. I have never seen anything like this. Roger. I'll attempt to analyze the enemy. Wow, this is a callback. Mitsuru is my uh is back to being my um my navigator. Okay. Well, let's just see how much it does. Heavy fire. Hellbiker. Wow, it has a lot of HP. That's a lot of HP, goddamn. Alright. Medium win. I won't lose! Santa Yukari. Yeah, this is all me, right? Because uh, they don't do too much with their personas. So instead... Let's try this. It's on! Okay. The enemy is strong against ice. Got it. That's a lot of HP, though. Uh, reinforcements. How annoying. But I am pretty strong. Okay, these guys aren't, though. Attack. That's a lot of HP. Holy. Like, a lot. 70 only? Yeah. Oh, shit. Holy, that damage. Wow. That is a lot of fucking damage. Alright, how much does this do, though? That's decent. That's a lot of damage. I can't lose. Be careful. Takuba is badly injured. Damn it, and can't use Persona either. Ugh, am I gonna see this through? Yeah, I guess I could see this through. I'll just beat this one though, and then I'm out of here. Uh, Patra, right? Yep. Take this. Who's next? That's next. 
shit. Uh, damn. Why can't I? Why can't I have my turn? Soma. Do I really want to use a Soma here? Yeah. No. I'll revive Yukari. Here. The she can res Junpei. Okay. Wait, it can full heal the boss? Takeba is in danger. Oh shit. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. Okay, fuck this, I'm out of here. This is gonna take too long and it's no big deal. Oh wait, I can't escape? Damn. Alright. Guess I'll have to die then. It's a good thing I do damage though. I'm actually glad I can do that much. I won't miss! Yeah. Why can't I run from this fight? Damn it. Look at that 5k regen. I wish I had a 5k regen. Be careful, Iori is severely injured. Kill them. How are none of them dead yet, by the way? Take this! Die. We're suffering. This again? Come on, hang in there. Okay. It's because of my swimsuit. Damn it. Wait, what? I can die during these fights? Okay. No, no, I'm good. Uh, yeah, retry, I guess. All right, good to know. So I can retry them whenever. They're like basically super bosses. So, good to know. I thought it was like, okay, I can breeze through the first couple because they're easy, but nope. They are indeed hard. Good to know though, this is like the end game challenges if you want them. All right, I got my party. Is anybody lost inside? No, I don't think so. Hellbiker level 65. Yeah, we should be good. And there is no new quest, right? There is. Bloody Budden. Defeat the Reaper. <laughs> I see. So now you can... There's a request for this guy now. And I get 5 million yen. Wow. That must be everything in uh, her coin pouch. Okay, cool. Good to know, though. So, yeah. We are... We're doing pretty well. It's the very first day of the year. We got... The OG party cast back in the team. Podumaru has not awakened to his persona yet. We are resuming from floor 214. Okay, let me guess. This goes all the way to floor 250. It better not be 300, I swear.